Hi, my name is Bokhad Rahmedrev. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the matrix factorization. We are going to discuss about the two different modifications of the LU decomposition, namely LDU decomposition and PLU decomposition. So, if you remember previously, we talked about the LU decomposition, and essentially what we say is that we would like to write down the matrix A as the multiplication of one lower triangular matrix to the upper triangular matrix. And what we call the lower triangular is that if you just look to the diagonal entries here, so all the entries above the diagonal should be equal to the zero. And what we call as the upper triangular matrix is that if you look to the diagonals, so all the entries below the diagonal should be equal to the zero. So you see, so all of the entries here on the diagonal are ones. Right, but in some literature you might see that upper triangular, uh, so all the diagonal entries of the upper triangular matrix are equal to the one. Essentially, so you, so these two forms of the matrix of the LU decomposition are interchangeable. So it is possible that all the diagonal entries of the U are equal to the zero, or all the diagonal entries of the L are equal to the zero. And we can change this using a diagonal matrix in between of them. So essentially, the idea is like this. I'm going to substitute the U matrix here. So this is going to be the U matrix. So with the another U1 matrix, by just multiplying that U1 matrix as a diagonal matrix. And the idea would be to have all the diagonal entries on the U1 matrix to be equal to the 1. So the all diagonals, all diagonals are equal to 1. Okay, so how we can do this? So let me write down this matrix. So 6 minus 2, 0. Okay, so I'm going to put here the my matrix here and my matrix here as well. Okay, so if I wanted 6 to be equal to the 1, then I just need to divide everything to the 6, right? So let's divide everything to the 6. It's going to be simply 1 minus 2 over 6 and 0. Okay, but at the same time, do you remember we've learned that hey, diagonal matrix is going to multiply the the rows of your matrix to that constant, right? So since you are dividing everything on the first row to the six, you have to multiply this as well in some another matrix. So essentially, the six zero zero just is going to just multiply this row to the six, and you will get this one. So it's basically taking out the constant from all of the entries of that corresponding row, right? So you're taking out six from all of the entries from the first row, okay? So now, so we've got the second row, which is going to be equal to the zero, two, one. So if you want this two to be equal to the one, you have to just divide everything to the two. So it will be written as a one, uh, zero, one, and one over two, okay? So which constant you need to multiply all of the entries here in order to get 0, 2, 1? So it's going to be 2. So 0, 2, 0. And again, essentially, it's just like taking out this 2 from all of the entries of this row here, of this matrix, right? And at the end, you've got just 0, 0, 1. So I want that this is equal to the 1. So the, the diagonal entry to be equal to the 1. It is already equal to the 1, so that's why I'm going to just copy a 0, 0, 1, and it's going to be 0, 0, 1. You see, so you can write down this U matrix, right, with the non-1 diagonal entries as a multiplication of the DU matrix, DU1, let's say, matrix, where the diagonal entries are equal to the 0. And we are going to just substitute this matrix, the U matrix, with the U. So in, in this case, it's going to be equal to, so our original matrix is equal to, so let me copy that, 6, 0, 6 minus 2 is 0, 9 minus 1, 1, 3, 7, 5, 3, 7, 5. So now this is going to be equal to the L matrix, so this is equal to, L matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0. Oops. Okay, so I think I need to copy everything again. So I'm going to write down 0, 1, 5. This is equal to the L matrix. So the L matrix used to be equal to the 1, 0, 0, 
3 over 2, 1, 0, 1 over 2, 4, and 1. And instead of writing down the U, I'm going to write DU. So it's going to be 6, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1. And this should be multiplied to what? To the 6. Um, sorry, to 1. To 1 minus 1 over 3, 0. To 0, 1, 1 over 2, 0, 0, 1. You see, so we wrote down the matrix A as a multiplication of the L, D, U. So in this case, all the diagonal entries of the L matrix are equal to the 1, and all the diagonal entries of the U matrix are, two, are equal to the 1. So now let's say you what you want is you would like to get the A to be equal to the LU matrix, where all the entries of the U are going to be equal to the 1 only. So diagonals 1. So if you remember what was our problem or issue was like, hey, here on the U, all the diagonals are 1, on the U are not 1. But in some literature, you might see that it's vice versa. All the diagonals of the U are 1 and R and N all the diagonals in L are not necessarily to be equal to the 1. So that's why I'm going to just multiply these two matrices. Okay, so just like get the LU decomposition, right? So whenever you multiply the diagonal matrix from the right-hand side part, so you see from the right-hand side part, those constants are going to be multiplied to the corresponding columns. So essentially 6 is going to be multiplied to the first column, 2 is going to be multiplied to the second column, and this 1 here is going to be multiplied to the third column. So I'm going to just multiply those constants to the corresponding columns of this L matrix, and this is going to be equal to the 6, minus 2, 0, 9, minus 1, 1, 3, 7, 5. Okay, and this is going to be equal to 6, so 3 over 2 times to the 6 is going to be equal to the 9. 6 times to the uh, 1 over 2 is going to be equal to the 3. So 0, 2, 8, 0, 0, 1. So this is going to be our new L matrix. And this is multiplied to the 1 minus 1 over 3, 0. 0, 1, 1 over 2, 0, 0, 1. So this is how we can just like change those ones, right? You see, so now in... All of the entries of the U matrix have the 1. So I'm just going to copy that first matrix here. So let me just put that one. To here. Okay. So you can see here the differences, right? So here in the original form, we used to have L matrix was the diagonal to be equal to the 1, and here we've got the U matrix was the diagonals to be equal to the 1. So another modification of the LU decomposition would be PLU decomposition. So this problem arises, so it was the definition of the matrices. If you remember, what we did before is, so we used to have the matrix, A matrix, right? A matrix or let me write this down in this way like this. So we used to have the A matrix, and what we did is we multiplied this matrix to the elementary matrix, for example, right? And we've got the U matrix. The thing was, this E matrix, the elimination matrix, is always a lower triangular matrix. And whenever you put this matrix to here, the inverse, the inverse of the, the inverse is also the lower triangular matrix is also the lower triangular matrix. And that was the advantage, or that was the beauty of using that E matrices, because their lower triangular matrices, their inverses, are also the lower triangular matrices. So now, let's say that you've got this matrix A in this form. So let's say 1, uh, or say, or say, let's say 0, 2, 1, 3. Okay? So if it would be just simply that these two rows would be different, then it would be really easy for us to bring this matrix into the LE decomposition form, right? Now what I have to do is I need to use the permutation matrix, right? So I need to ch interchange them. And the problem with the inter permutation matrix is that this permutation matrix is not the lower triangular matrix. Okay, so oh, let me write this as a 1, 0 here. 
and this is going to be equal to the like a one three zero two then you can just perform this operations in order to bring this to the lower triangular matrix or let me uh, let me show you another example the better one probably okay so let's say now you've got this matrix a with the component 0 3 minus 2 1 1 4 2 2 5 and what you want is you would like to bring this matrix to the algebraic composition form so the problem is there is no elimination matrix which would just make this zero to be a non-zero, right? And in order to do this, you need to use the permutation matrix. So essentially permute the first row with the second, for example, okay? But the problem is if you just do the permutation, then it is not going to be the lower triangular matrix. So I'm going to explain you what do I mean. So first of all, let's, so let's find the LU decomposition of this matrix A. So in order to do this, first of all, we need to interchange the rows. The first row was the second one, so it's going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. If you do that, what you get us here is going to be 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, minus 2, 2, 2, 5. Okay? So this matrix, or let me denote this as A prime, the modification of the A can be rolled to the elimination, to the L position, because it's like, uh, it, it, it doesn't have the zero here, okay? But that would be another L position, right? That would be not the L position of the A. But let's see how we can connect them. So let's find the L position of the L, L prime or A prime in order to do this, okay? So we are going to use the elimination matrices. So I've got this A prime was the 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, minus 2, 2, 2, 5. So we need to eliminate this 2 here, right? In order to do this, we need to multiply this as a corresponding matrix. It's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The first row, first two rows are not going to change, right? So let me show you this. So now in order to eliminate the 2, we need to multiply the first row to the minus 2 and add this to the third one. Right? So this is going to be minus 1, 0, and 1. Or minus 2 here, sorry. So if we perform this operation, this is going to be my E1 matrix. If you multiply this, what you get is 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 4 times the minus 2 is going to be minus 8 plus 5. It's going to be equal to the minus 3. Okay? You see, so this matrix is already in the U form, right? So this matrix E1, its inverse is going to be L matrix. So essentially here, this is my A prime matrix. So the A prime matrix is going to be equal to the E1 inverse times to the U. And the inverse of the E1 is going to be my lower triangular matrix, okay? So I'm going to write this down. The inverse of the E1 is going to be the same matrix with the positive T here. Okay, instead of negative. So it's going to be it's 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, times the U matrix, which is going to be 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, minus 3. Okay, so this is going to be my L matrix, this is the U matrix, and what we did is we wrote down the A prime as the L times the U. But the problem is, is not the L decomposition of the A matrix, because A prime was obtained by multiplying the A to some permutation matrix, right? Now I'm going to substitute this A with the PA. So essentially, the PA is equal to the LU, right? And now in order to get rid of that P, we need to multiply as its inverse from both of the parts, right? The inverse of the P is going to be multiplied from here and from here. And if you remember, the inverse of the P matrix is itself simply, right? So that is why you, what you're going to get is the A is going to be equal to the P L U decomposition, okay? So essentially, we need this decomposition in order to just make, just interchange the two rows in the beginning. So I'm going to write this down now. So our original matrix was equal to 0, 3, 2, 1, 1, 4, 2, 2, 5. So I can't really write this down as an decomposition because of this two rows are interchangeable because of the zero here. 
So first of all, I need to make multiply this to the permutation matrix. It's going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right, in order to get a prime, then I'm going to write down these two matrices, L and U matrices, which are the compositions of the A prime essentially. It's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, times the U matrix, it's going to be 1, 1, 4, 0, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, minus 3. Okay, so we've been able to write down the A as the P. L U decomposition. So this is essentially this two modification of the L U decomposition, L the U decomposition, and P L U decomposition. But the essentially the idea is the same. So writing down the matrix is a multiplication of the lower triangular matrix into the upper triangular matrix. So in our next video, we're going to see how to apply the L U decomposition to solve a system of linear equations in a much more easier way.